hopefully no one chops down the tree. We do not want the evil spirits getting in here. It's already pretty eerie as it is. Hello everyone and welcome back to another adventure. The weather is absolutely miserable right now. There's loads of low-lying cloud and it's just meant to be raining non-stop for the next couple of days. So for that reason, I'm staying down low. So instead of climbing a mountain and getting absolutely no views and getting drenched in the rain, I've decided to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go and try and explore a mountain bothy. I've been to a few bothies in my time, but I've never been to this one in particular. Uh, so I'm excited to get along to it, get dry and see what it's like. So this bothy in particular, I've not even mentioned the name, it's Abyssinia Bothy and it's in Glen Kinglass, I think it is Kinglass maybe and it's one of the more accessible bothies it's only about four kilometres from the car park and you follow a really well maintained sort of like Land Rover track so it's ideal for a short wee walk uh, just to get to it and see what it's like or if you're staying over and it follows along this really nice uh, river pretty much the whole way and you're just surrounded by mountains so if you're planning on staying in the Bothy overnight you've got plenty of mountains around you uh, to maybe do in the morning or do before and then come down and stay in the Bothy it's a really good spot This impressive ridgeline you can see behind me is part of Ben Ann Lochin and I've actually already done a video climbing that I'll leave the link in the description and it's, it's a fantastic mountain if you come to this area definitely climb it uh, the weather was a little bit nicer than what it is today when I did that so I wouldn't want to be up there today but yeah for a, a nicer day it's a good one to do Really nice this, it's just like peaceful and serene, haven't seen anyone else and such a lovely glen. You don't always have to go up mountains to get good views, especially in Scotland we've got loads of valleys and glens that are just absolutely beautiful and it's just a bit, something about different you know, a nice peaceful walk, not having to scramble up mountains or <laughs> go along ridges it's just it's nice so I continued along the Land Rover track enjoying the views up the glen in front of me and I'm usually not a fan of rain but I was quite enjoying it the damp air was filling my lungs and the sound of rain hitting the gravel was quite soothing and before long I could see the bothy in front of me there it is just there it's a pretty good spot isn't it, it's uh, nice and secluded. Just a wee river crossing there but I'd imagine that's passable year round because it's been quite a lot of rain in the past couple of days and you know it was pretty easy to pass, it's not too deep. This is pretty cool, in terms of a bothy it's got quite a lot of things, got a wee shovel, broom there, fire extinguisher, turn right as you come in and the beds, probably sleeps maybe two, maybe like six or eight people, quite a lot of space, some pretty good views as well, out of the windows. 
and then through this way, that's the door there. You've got a bench, you can sit down and have some food. A fire, which not a lot of bothies have. That's pretty cool. And it's just some supplies, some books, if you're stuck in here in bad weather. Another bench you can sit. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Some more good views out the back. Hopefully no one chops down the tree. We do not want the evil spirits getting in here. It's already pretty eerie as it is. That's the tree out there for anyone wondering. Do not chop that down. I mean, as bothies go, this is one of the nicer ones. It's clean. I mean, I've been to some bothies and it's literally just, it's more of a shelter than an actual bothie. But this is actually, this is really nice. You can imagine this being someone's house, you know, hundreds of years ago, maybe. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty much got everything you need. If there's bad weather outside, like today, you can come in here, you can stay dry, and get the fire going, stay nice and cosy, and uh, yeah, just chill for the night. This is really nice. I'm gonna sit in here now and get some food because I'm pretty hungry. And then I'll, I'll probably take one last look around and then get going. But yeah, this is, it's really nice. It's better than what I expected, to be honest. Most bothies are pretty standard, pretty basic. This one has more than the average bothy, I'd say. Let's go guys. Apologies for the abrupt exit there guys. A scout group of about 15 people showed up and I didn't want to really disturb them inside the bothy. I think they're maybe staying for the night. I'm not sure how they're all going to fit in there but they had big bags so maybe a couple of them are camping or something like that. I can just see the tip of the bothy there. I've walked along the other direction for a little bit just to see if it's well hidden. And I mean, look at that. That's pretty, pretty amazing. Really nice spot. I'm just gonna head back down the glen now, guys. The rain and wind is getting quite bad again. So I'm gonna get back to the, the dryness and the warmth of the car. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Something a wee bit different. Maybe on the shorter side, but I don't normally do these sort of exploring bothy type videos uh, but I can do more of them if you like them I can definitely do more of them it's, it's good fun it's just something a bit different normally I'm camping or I'm climbing a mountain and I'm, that doesn't get boring but you know to do different things is definitely it's definitely good so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have make sure to leave a like and subscribe that would really really help me out much appreciated if you have let me know in the comments as well and if there's things I can improve on, also let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys next week for another adventure where hopefully the weather's a bit better.